Welcome back. We've just saved the Razoran continent from the dastardly Twenin invasion. And now, well, now we actually don't really know what we're doing. There's this lumbering beast to the east that may or may not be an ally. And of course, Scraybeard is still not ready to actually attack, so we have to investigate this thing whatever it is, and uh, satisfy Greybeard before we can proceed. So past the cave, more coast, more coast, I'm not seeing anything in the walls, here we go. Okay, that'll open. Got guard, character guard. All right, that's why they're not moving. They're not reacting to me. And some citizens. Some characters, some citizens here. So we found a little village of Razorans. I'm scared. The enemies are at the gates. Fear not, my friend. Our stalwart troops will never let them prevail. Okay, well, not a whole lot we can do with that. But I... Yeah, no, it doesn't. The shallow water doesn't extend to the edge of the screen. Okay. Well, what's this? Hold on, Gunthrow. I wouldn't go any further if I were you. The rocks are alive! What could that mean? Well, we did have that one secret room before. Rock golems. Okay, so we finally... Start getting some more enemies happening here. The rock golem themed level. Golem encampment. Gunthro followed the narrow path through the ravine, nervously glancing at the rock that surrounded him. Every now and then he was sure he could make a pair of eyes glinting from within the rock piles that littered the path. Eventually, the path opened up into a rock strewn clearing intersected by a mountain stream. Now he was out in the open, he could make out these beasts more clearly. Made out of rock and of limited intelligence but with considerable brute strength, these were the rock golems. As we well know nowadays, golems tend to keep to themselves and stay underground. What had prompted these ones to come to the surface, and whose side were they on? Okay, so like that's our exit. There's not a lot we can do. We have to come back south and north here. There's a bunch of broken walls, but I don't see any other broken walls here, so... Squishy flesh thing. Stay back or get squished. Okay, and here is ultimately where we want to go. Uh, so this is just a little combat room, survive long enough, get around. Uh, you can see, I might as well point this out again. The golems are similar to the roaches in that they always try to move directly towards you. But unlike the roach, uh, if the roach is on a corner like this, uh, vertical preference means it'll move uh, north to try to get to me. The golem doesn't. So here, vertical preference, the golem should be moving north, but it doesn't It doesn't make that second check. It's not that smart. So it tries to move towards me diagonally, sees this block, and then just stops. So it's like when I'm running past here, this one's never going to come out to get to, get to me. But this one will. See there, they're on a diagonal. So I could plug this hole. I would rather not do that. Because, well, it doesn't really matter, but I might as well clear out as many roaches as possible. Alright, no problem. And yeah, they're still they're still animated, and actually still keep their turn order, but uh, not. Uh, they're not an issue. They won't come back. If I leave now, now it's cleared. 
So if you block off, let's say we needed to go this way, but we managed to block off the path with golem corpses, as long as we can leave and re-enter the room, it's not an issue. Right, here we have combat. Pressure plate needs to be held down. Putting that together with the rock golem corpse issue, and I think we, we know where this is going. And as always, I am compelled to destroy every broken wall. Okay. Shouldn't be too hard to get you where I need you. There we go. Here. Now if I try to do this, I'm going to get myself stuck. So I actually have to wait for you. I'm up here. I feel like it's guiding me this way. Okay. I need all four of these held down in order to get to the roach. Which means these two probably for golems, these two probably for roaches. We do have to release two at a time, I'm not too concerned about it though. Oh, especially since this roach is stuck. Okay, well, I mean... Okay, that was, that was me being done. So I mean, the trick with this room is that roaches do not... Oops. Roaches do not leave for corpses, so we have to do everything the hard way. Get them stuck where they need to be, and whoops run into the wall diagonally a whole bunch of times, and then finish off the roaches. Uh, nothing synchrony. This is another tile set I have a little bit of issue with for secrets for some reason. Not as bad as the fortress tile set. Ah, uh, well I can, I can start with the scroll this way. Kill the northern roach before killing all three golems. Oh, I don't even have to restart the room. Okay. Kill you before killing all three of you. So can I kill one of the golems first? If so, then it's not really a challenge. How do I... Does that work? If I just kill... Oh, I see. That's, that's why it's a challenge, because this holds that down. So if I just do this... So presumably, presumably I can kill one of them. So I'm going to get, uh, like I said, they're not smart enough that they hit a diagonal, so I'm just going to maneuver you to here, and then I should be fine. I guess the easy solution is to put three corpses like this, and then get the roach stuck there. The golems are fairly easy easy to manipulate anyway. Oh. Okay, well. upon the sand. Okay. Uh, this could be a secret, but it's not. Anyone else who could have a secret? Um, I 
do not see anything that could be a secret. And it's a nice, nice little challenge. Fairly straightforward. Am I actually able to take this path? Nope. Okay. Because the path does lead somewhere, but I guess it just leads off screen. Whoa. Yeah, water. Can't swim in that. It's too deep. Okay, we got a red door, which means we cannot kill a corpse on a... On, or cannot kill a, a golem on one of these trap doors. Okay, these two are going to be a little bit harder, I guess. Well... Take a diagonal here. Uh, that's fine actually because I've got that path. The platform I can use. Turn my sword around. No problem. I don't see any crack walls. Oh, this is a this has been a fairly linear section. I mean I guess here I had a choice, but overall this has been pretty linear. Ah, yes. Got the golems in hallways. We need to get past them. Right, we need to open that. And then we can lure the roach in. That's suspicious. Okay, so we need to... We need to get the roach in this way. After hitting this. So the trick here is just going to be to deal with these golems in a way that isn't going to get us permanently trapped. Oops. Ah, uh, that's fine. I'll just move you over a bit more. I was a little bit careless, but it's fine. Alright, so put them in the intersections. You can get past them. Oh. Here, lure you north. So that I can do this. Huh. Hate it when I leave the, the color coding up, but I wasn't looking at that part of the screen, so I didn't notice. Kinds of ways we can go from here. Okay, I can go in here and hit this. But if I do that, then these roaches can get stuck in here. So what I need to do is use these golems to block these paths so that no roaches can ever get in there. They'll just come down this way. And then, then I can hit that orb. Okay. And I guess this is just long enough that it's gonna force me to deal with a spawn cycle. Access to the roaches. And from here, uh, we don't really need to deal with those roaches just yet. Alright, run into the roach. Good plan. And I'm gonna. Nope, I don't have to go around again. Well, it might actually be faster. 
Uh, any other exits? I don't see any. Alright, those corpses are gone now. Okay, so it looks like yeah, our final room can be entered from any of the three sides. Step on that in order for me to gain access to the entrance. Hmm. I think. Hmm. I want you on here, which will let me in here. I actually want you on here. Now when I'm going around this way, you'll step here, and then here, and then you'll be stuck, and then I can get you into position easily enough. I think the trick with this room is that I need to deal with this one first, because I can't actually get out once I've uh, dealt with this one. Uh, although... If I go south... If I go south of this, you step off, but as long as you're... Okay, if I get you off of this pressure plate, then this thing opens. Okay. So do not kill you on the pressure plate. Uh, how do I do this? Not like that, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Let's let's do some manipulation. Okay, I see. I need to step diagonally, or I can step onto this. I can only step off of it once because it's a trapdoor. So I need the roach to be ahead of the golem in both of these cases. And why does that happen? Because the golem. Uh, that, uh, that happens because the roach, of course, can't move diagonally up. I'm just being dumb. Do it that way, then it goes nicely. Uh, here, what's your movement order? Golem first, okay. No problem. see this secret here, but because of the corpse and the okay, well, exit level. Because of the, the arrow and the corpse and the trap door. Okay, well it's just a way back out here. Hmm. I must have not been paying attention. Is there another path off of this? There it is. Okay, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check all of it now and just make sure there's just the one. And I'll be lazy with my eyes and just run my sword along it. There we go. Challenge: Drop all trap doors but one before killing the golem and exit the room. Okay. Hmm. Well, I can. I don't want to kill this golem because I need to get through this yellow-red 
green thing. Obviously hit the orb. So I have to hit the orb once. I have to drop every single trapdoor before I can hit the orb. So that right there is simply like, doesn't matter. This is the one that's the issue. And I have to kill the golem. I cannot kill the golem anywhere where it will get me stuck. And given that I need to drop all the trapdoors, that suggests that this is where the golem needs to die right here. I don't see... Unless I get around the golem, well, get around the golem without dropping all the trapdoors, that'd be, that'd be a neat, that'd be a neat trick, wouldn't it? Okay, well, let's... Uh, hold it. I'm... Let's do that again. I think... Um, I don't know why I need to do that. I did need to do that. Uh, how... How do I get you around this corner? Do I just do it like... this? The challenge was to drop all but one trapdoor. Before killing the golem. Okay. So that means that the trapdoor that I don't drop is going to be one of those three, and I'm going to be standing on it. Hmm. Okay, well. I don't need all of these. That's it, right? Because... I got you into position. Oh, no, no, no. That's not going to work because you're going to move off if I move my sword. Okay. So this is actually surprisingly um, not too bad. Uh, I just need to... I can't get you to slide that way. Can I get you to slide this way and then pick it up? No. Hmm. Okay, well that's the entrance that I need. Okay, I'm starting to see how this is more complicated now. Okay, uh, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, well, rather than deal with any of this, why don't I just get you out? up. Can I still get you where I wanted you? No. No, because I, I got you way too over. Too far over. Okay, well...
Oh, now I'm never gonna drop this. Okay, this is, this is actually this is actually the the room that's gonna make this not a really fast and short episode. I get you standing here. Yeah, you can't. What if I... Well, obviously I need those down. I was doing the right thing, I just need to leave this tile up so that I can make that move at the end. Alright. That insight. Uh, let's stop being dumb and actually get this thing finished. that counted. Last trap door standing. That was a weird but interesting little uh, challenge. So I can't go back around this way because the arrow blocks me out, which is why I have this. Last room. Four guards. Oh, this room. Character guard, okay. Psst, here he comes. This looks bad. Oh no, I can hit that and let myself out. Oh no, because then he'll step off of the, the brush plate. Whatever. Gotcha! What the? Okay, so the golem's probably not friends with Twino, but they don't want me to do what it is that I am doing, which is fighting the war with Twino. So the golems are a faction that doesn't want the war to happen. Interesting. Well, that's been dealt with. No. <gasps> I'm amazed you managed to make it past those beasts with your life! And... Once more, I mean, surely... Surely we're ready to attack now, right? Well, there is still a path that we haven't taken on the map, so we'll go see what... 
what other little quest we have that we uh, we have to do. Quite a walk back. Didn't kill the guards. That was wasn't really paying attention, but that's just as well. Greybeard, are we ready to attack Inglow's Keep? We have seen a lumbering beast in the hills to the east. It watches and hides. The two Wenons may have an ally. You speak of the Golems. I do not believe they work for the Twainans. General Drakendut took a scouting force to the northwest. The Twenans brought back a bloody ear as evidence of their foul slaughter. Without our greatest military leader, I fear the war is lost. Alright, so he doesn't tell us where to go. But if we look at our map, we do have this path here. And since that's the only spot left we haven't explored, it seems like a reasonable assumption to make. Okay, so onward to rescue Drakendut in the next episode.